Today we're doing a quick video on these solar panels. This is not sponsored, I bought these for another project, but I ended up liking them so much that I've gotten rid of all of my other solar panels and I only run these. I bought these to put on my roof, but I don't wanna get permits, so I just throw them on the ground again. And I'm gonna put them on other parts of my property and we're gonna make all sorts of videos on that. But these panels are my favorite. And after testing hundreds of solar panels, they usually do not impress me. Um, so I wanna show you exactly why I like these. So these are Aptos panels and they have a few models, but the performance for its size and for its price is incredible. So first off, this is the 400 watt module and you can see the cells from the back, so it's a bifacial. And with bifacial gain, you can get up to 500 watts. Now for that output, it should weigh about 70 pounds, but for some reason, this thing only weighs 48 pounds. And that completely blew my mind because I had stacks and stacks of 370, 400 watt bifacials, and they all weighed like 70 or 80 pounds. But this one, I lifted it up and I was like, this is, this is nothing, this is so easy. And it's smaller. Like look at how big this is for a 400 watt panel compared to me. The older ones I had had less output and they were all the way up to here. Next, it has a 30 year warranty for all of their panels. Next, the output current is very high and the voltage is lower. Typically, we were seeing you know, 50 volt panels. These ones are only 37 and the current is higher. So that means you can put more panels into series without exceeding that max input voltage rating on your solar charge controller. If you have a single series string system like a Solarc, an 18K, a 6000 XP, this is perfect for that. Next, these connection cables are really low long and let me show you an example of why that matters. Now this panel I mounted the wrong way and I was too lazy to remount it. I was making a video so I was like hey these cables are so long let's see if it reaches anyways. And it actually reached and I didn't have to remount this. I don't recommend doing this but at least you know that it's long enough to do it if you have to. Also the voltage rating is 1500 volts for a string. You're probably not going to exceed 500 volts but it's nice to know that the components that they use can handle that that voltage rating because sometimes it's much lower. So yeah, 1500 volts is perfect. Now in the last few months, I ran a test with my Victron solar charge controller and I measured the difference in output between putting them on the ground and putting them on this ground mount to see if there was any bifacial gain. And I always measured a gain of 5%, but I want people to realize, and I've made videos about this on the past, that if you want increased bifacial gain, you have to lift these panels up a lot. Just putting them on this mount is not gonna give you much bifacial gain unless you have a bunch of snow in the back. If you wanna collect that radiation from the back, you're gonna have to lift these things up a lot higher. And for most studies, it says at least a meter in the front of the panel, and idealistically, you wanna put them up as high as possible like on a carport or something like that. But mounting them on an Integra rack is not gonna do that much. Also, I love this Integra rack. I actually have other racks and this is my favorite now. So we're gonna make lots of videos in the future about this thing, but fantastic if you use it with an Aptos solar panel. Now let's talk about the price. They have three different models and the 400 watt one is not the best deal. They have a 370 watt model that gets 27 cents per watt. They have a 400 watt model that's 36 cents per watt. And then there's a 400 440 watt model for 38 cents per watt. So I think most people are gonna buy the 370 watt model and it's even smaller and lighter, but not by much. It's only 42 pounds instead of 48 pounds. But for the price, I don't think you can beat it. Now, even though it's a lot cheaper, the 370 watt module can actually have gain up to 480 watt output. So that's definitely the clear winner when it comes to price for these modules. Anyways, I'll be running these for a long time and I'm gonna build a new system with them, which I can't talk about, but it's gonna be super cool. It's gonna be mounted in a very peculiar place and I think you guys are gonna like it. So while I was editing this video, I found out that Canadian Solar has some new solar panels that are trying to compete with the Aptos, but they're not bifacials. They cost more money and they weigh a pound more. So personally, I would not order these. And they only have a 25 year warranty. So I don't know who's gonna buy these, 
but there's other options that are the same weight. That's what I was freaking out about in this video because I was like, wow, I can build these systems so quickly. But again, these are monocrystalline. These are not bifacial. But if you find a panel that competes with the Aptos, please post it below. There's lots of panels to choose from nowadays, but right now Aptos is my favorite. Something else I forgot to mention is Grape Solar. These are $50 and they're 100 watts. These are only for like small 12 volt systems and I absolutely hate this shape, but if you need a cheap panel for 50 bucks, this is pretty good. And that's pretty much it. I'll have links down below for everything. Um, I hope you guys like the Aptos panels and please post your systems on my forum. If you build a big array with Aptos panels and an Integra rack, we would love to see it. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.